Just so much traveling, my passport expired. Last summer I had to renew my passport. I don't know about in America, but in Canada, on your new passport photos, you're not allowed to smile. That's the new rule. This, you're not allowed to smile. This is their way of fighting terrorism. This is how they're going to catch the terrorists. You can't smile. That's the message they're sending you. If, you can't, if you're traveling, you'd better not be happy. I didn't know, right? I'm in the mall. I walk into one of those places that says, we do passport photos. I walk in, I'm like, yo, I need some passport photos. The guy goes, no problem, buddy. Sit down. Which really pissed me off because he was a white guy and I don't know why he was talking like that, right? So... I think he was mocking me. So I sit down, the guy goes, you ready? I go, yeah, it's a picture and I'm a happy guy. So I figure, all right. He goes, you ready? And I smile, I'm like this. The guy goes, uh, sir, sir, your lips need to be touching. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sir, sir, you can't smile. Not like that I can't smile, of course. I, that's their way. This is how they really think they're going to find the terrorism, by making you not smile. You want to find the terrorists? Make everybody smile. And the people that don't want to smile, question them. <laughs> when have you ever been watching CNN and they show you the terrorists that they're looking for and those guys are happy? Never. <laughs> Terry, you never see like a shot of the terrorists standing around going... <laughs> you know, there's never the one joker terrorist guy with his thumb on the detonator. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll... Hey, you flinched, you bastard. I saw you flinch. So I wasn't allowed to smile. So now, if it wasn't bad enough being a brown man going through the airports, now when I give him my passport, I look pissed off. <laughs> my picture of my passport's like this. <laughs> I get my passport now, oh, Mr. Peters. No, step this way, please. <laughs> a few words with you. It's hard, man, because security at the airport, customs, immigration, they really need to learn the difference between a terrorist and an Indian. We're not the same. We're not. We're not from the same part of the world. We don't speak the same language. We don't eat the same food. We don't even hate the same people. <laughs> Terrorists hate Americans. Indians hate each other. <laughs> A terrorist will blow up an airport. Indians like to work at the airport. That would be counterproductive. <laughs> and I know a lot of white people are nervous about flying nowadays, and I understand to a certain degree, but I had one white dude come to goes, no man, I don't fly anymore. You never know when shit's gonna go down up there. <laughs> like, what? Nothing's going down up there, dude. Yeah, well, you never know. <laughs> and I, I understand, you know what I mean? You're a little panicked a little bit. But think about it reasonably, you know what I mean? Think about it logically. Think about what airline you're getting on, where you're getting on the plane, where you're flying to, you know what I mean? That all factors into your whole terrorist theory. I was on a JetBlue flight. <laughs> See, JetBlue is funny enough. <laughs> I was on a JetBlue flight from Buffalo, New York to LaGuardia. It was like a 30-seat plane. Plane. <laughs> oh my God, my Indian Tourette's is acting up. 30-seat <laughs> plane. We all go through it. <laughs> so I get on board this little plane. It's a 45-minute flight. I walk on board. This older white lady sees me, grabs her bag, and goes, Oh, my God. I'm like, What? You think I'm a terrorist? On friggin' jet blue? What am I, the low self-esteem terrorist? Yeah, I don't want to kill a lot of us today. I... Thought I'd start off with 30. Tomorrow, Southwest. <laughs> Just think about it logically, you know? I remember I was on a flight like two weeks after 9-11. I sat down beside this white guy. He almost shit his pants. <laughs> I sat down, the guy's like this. About half an hour into the flight, I reach for my bag. The guy goes, oh my God, no! 
I'm like, relax, you jackass. Just getting my Discman. Got to listen to my instructions. 